Hey you guys, it's Trista with NB Detox. Today I'm going to talk about an easy coffee enema procedure. Coffee enemas are an excellent way to detoxify the liver. If you have a headache or you're ha suffering from a hangover or you have severe PMS symptoms, body aches and pains, you're having digestion issues, gas and bloating, all of these are wonderful things that um, are taken care of when you do a coffee enema. Often I do, if I have really bad headache or PMS symptoms, I'll do two or three coffee enemas in a row and that will take care of it. So it's also great for mental clarity. If you have brain fog, it'll clear that right up. If you're on a natural body detox program like Nutritional Balancing, you're definitely going to want to incorporate coffee enemas. The reason is because when you give your body all of the minerals and nutrition that it needs, the cells can then begin to dump the toxins, and you need a place to flush those toxins out. So in the Nutritional Balancing Program, we incorporate coffee enemas and infrared saunas. Today I'm going to show you a coffee enema pr procedure that is outlined by Dr. L. Wilson with the Nutritional Balancing Protocol. It's a little bit different than the Gerson Therapy one. I think it's a lot easier and a lot faster. For a single coffee enema, you're going to want approximately one cup of spring water or distilled water. I usually put a little bit more than one cup because a little bit evaporates. You're also going to want to use either a stainless steel pot or a glass pot and you want to have a lid as well. So you pour the water in the pot. You want to get it started heating up while you grind the coffee. For this coffee enema recipe, we're going to use a medium roast organic coffee. I like to buy my coffee beans whole and grind them fresh each day. You can also grind them at the store if you want to save on time or you don't have a grinder. It's important to get organic coffee because we don't want any more toxins added to the body than necessary. If this is your first time doing a coffee enema, I would suggest using a small amount of coffee between a half a tablespoon and a tablespoon. If you're sensitive to caffeine, it's also a good idea to use a small amount. Today I'm gonna to do one tablespoon. So you take the coffee and you grind it in your grinder. You don't wanna grind it to a very fine grind. You wanna just do a medium grind. And then you put the coffee in the pot. So when you put the coffee in the pot, you're going to want to bring the water to a boil. Once the coffee is boiling, you're going to want to reduce the heat to a low simmer. And you're going to put the lid almost all the way on, leaving a little bit of a crack. Then you set your timer for 13 minutes, and you let it simmer at a slow rolling boil for 13 minutes, and you can go do a couple other things while you're waiting. Once the coffee's done simmering, you're gonna wanna pour it back into the measuring cup using a fine mesh strainer. Okay, when you pour it into the filter and it's all filtered out, remove the filter and put it in the sink. And then we're gonna fill the rest of the cup up with room temperature or cold spring water. Okay, now you have two full cups of liquid and then we're gonna go into the bathroom for the next part of the coffee enema procedure. 